I was gonna wait till like Thursday, Friday ish to do the to do this because I want to start doing um some review some manga reviews of some le like lesser known anime because let's put it there's not <laughs> like in the anime community there is not a lot of diversity among the um, anime community honestly it's kind of dark man they put on this light a little better. So, I'm going to be doing Madaka Box, chapter 176, and oh my god, this was awesome. Alright, so, last chapter, um, as you know, Kumaga Kumagawa and his Leg Eater Forest. Is that the official, I don't even think that's going to be the official name of it. But, um, in Leg Eater Forest, he was actually, he actually got managed to knock down and got speared through by one of his skew, one of his screws. And the, the beginning of the chap chapter opens up with an explanation of, um, Shirinui, Shirinui's ability, really, uh, Wheel Eater, and I can never get these na Madaka Box names right, I am really bad at them, so I'm gonna be looking off the computer, um, for some, for some of these, for some of these names, and Najimi, Ami, uh, Najimi, uh, when she was alive, she called it the most disgusting skill ever, to ever be created, it's a, it's a skill that, well, that, as you already know, alters someone's skill, but since, but in Madaka Box, since skills are based off your mentality, aka your personality, it, it is sent, the ability essentially um, messes with their personality, and all, um, I wouldn't say, I don't think it turns you into a different different person, but, I mean, that's what's called, but, it goes to say, that is, if so, can you help this be something, something, that we said, if the skill can be used, and we see that, the, um, we see that the screw, the screw Kumagala got stuck through, because the, the top of the heads are sawed off, he actually got speed, hmm, he actually expanded and speared, and speared through both of them, and he was like, she's like, what's going on, it's like, what, don't you want to know this, like, bookmaker, bookmaker, I was like, yes, yes. And so it's something interesting I did not I never noticed about um book um bookmaker is that when it's when it's used the the screw actually spins into the per into the um, into the person and locks in I was just kind of, I'm like I don't think they, I don't think Niso Eason has ever showed that before like I don't think he's ever shown it before and um. So ba so basically so basically um she she is like like well if you if I can't use my real eater I can't put I can't bring bring back Zen Zenkichi and he's just like and Kumagawa starts putting up you know a little faint try, trying to push her like push her a little, a little bit over the edge and she's like Zen who I'm like oh eh, well I get I guess <laughs> he acts like he you can totally forgot Zenkichi because remember last chapter he. Erased him from existence. Yeah, he can do that. By the way, <laughs> he can do he can do that. And um, what was I gonna say? All right. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Too many seconds. All right. So, and Shir Shirinui essentially has a mental br mental breakdown. She starts she starts cry um starts cry crying and shit. And um. So then, Ku then Kumagawa goes through his little little psycho thing again. And he's get he's getting ready to stab her with like five or six more, and then, bam! Zenkichi comes in. <laughs> um, he's he's like, he breaks the screws and like he's like, can I hit can I hit you like just just this once, Kumagawa? And he's like, okay, but at least let me say this. Again, I couldn't win. Bah! Right to <laughs> right to the jaw. So he's out cold, and Zenkichi explains what. Kum, um, what Kum, um, Naji, Najimi's present was. The first one, as you know, was a hundred, hundred, ga hundred gauntlets, which allowed Kum, which basically allowed Kumagawa to make his all fiction. So it stopped, it stopped the degradation of his all fiction. And the second one was called Unskilled, very fitting for Kumagawa, by the way, which um negate, negated um your um your enemy skills or any other skill. And so essentially, what he did, he com he actually combined he combined them um, to make. Well, they didn't even, they didn't even give it, give it a name like the new combination thing. Yeah, the all oh, the April fiction thing, all bullshit, all bullshit. 
And so basically, it makes it so, makes it so that your makes it only so that it's a skill that. And getting ahead of myself, unsk unskilled is basically an ability that stops you from using your skills for the next three minutes. Which, if not, if not Namiji was alive, she wouldn't even need that because it would only take like two seconds. Because she's like, she might as well be Haruhi Suzumiya. She even looks like her. Oh my god. But um, anyway. So it's a so basically it makes it makes it so it doesn't exist for three for three minutes. I'm assuming Kumaga, Kumagawa can still use his re, his regular all fiction. Yeah, his his regular all fiction that just allowed him to get rid of for eternity. But um, yeah. So so after after that whole little episode, um, <laughs> this is this is a really fun really funny scene about where um Sh where Shiranui and Zenkichi have this like little eel look on their face like. Like Krona from Soul Eater, it's like, like <laughs> the guy's like, no, no. <laughs> he's usually think <laughs> it's like he picks up <laughs> he picks up his phone like, oh, sorry, I gotta take. It's like that's rude. So he talks he starts starts talking to this person that who we who we don't know. And like, so who is this person? Like, it's Obi from um back when back when they were in the uh, is it called the is it called the Shiranui Village? Yeah, I believe it's called I believe it's called the Shiranui Village. I have, I have to go check back again, but. So he go. So he goes. But so um, he he gets a call. He gets a call from her and said, and saying he wants to talk to um Shiranui. And they talking about. It's like 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 she's like okay about this like the guy the guy tricked me. We can't do all this and like, I was like oh something about like how are you like we're fine. It's like, and we get, we go back to we go back to where um, they they go back to a scene scene where Obi is in the village and the village is trashed. There's dead. There's Presumably dead bodies everywhere. She's beating the crap up. Says Ihiko is coming your way. I'm like, fuck. Now I'm not sure how I, I don't feel about Ihiko actually coming yet because uh, honestly, it seems like if Madaka Madaka pulls off um, pulls off the whole skill thing, because as you know, because right now she's fighting what sixty. Yeah, six hundred and forty million. No, not six hundred. Six hundred and forty thousand. Fuck, I can't tell you. Um, of um, that other girl whose name I don't know. The nurse. The nurse girl. Mm. Yo, doc, got to lie on your lie. <laughs> um, if you if you haven't read that, look, go back and look at that scene on the last chapter because that was just fucking like. But um, the last asshole neighbors upstairs. I swear to God. Anyway, so we so we go we go back um back to what I was saying. I'm th I'm thinking that this is that the arc is going to be end earlier than I expected. I was expecting it to go maybe like another twenty, not even twenty chapters. Maybe like another because Monaco Box arcs are relatively short. If you like the jet the jet black wedding was short, although that was just, that was just used for um characterization for Madaka because. The um, Madaka box arcs are basically around who's being characterized at which times, and um, I remember the um, what we call arc being re relatively short. I'm, I'm not even sure what the arc's called. The fight with Zenkichi when Zenkichi was coming, when Zenkichi like you know actually grow actually growing up hair instead of just being clinging all to Madaka. And um, but yeah, this seems like this seems like it might because as you know, Madaka don't play. <laughs> She just, she has a record of like ending, <laughs> ending villains exceedingly quickly. But anyway, move. Anyway, moving on. I think there's something else we're gonna. Read. No, that's about it. Anyway, so um, after that whole after that whole discussion, we now we now go to. I don't have to look at the computer for this. Look for their names. Kamone Surubami and his fa and his father, who's n is really creepy part of a father. And he's like, hmm, so I process for some elimination. You must be my son. I'm just kind of like... And this totally reminds me of, um... Relius Clover and Carl Clover, because... Relius is an... If you, if you haven't played Blaze Blue, Relius is an asshole. <laughs> go, um... Go on, go online and re, and watch, um... Help Me Kill Kanoe and go, and go to Relius... And go to, um, Relius's ending. And it's like... She's like, like, stop being such a shit here on the daddy front. Like, yeah, cute little son, cute little son, needs attention. And he's like, cute little son. She's like, oh my god. 
But yeah, that's about that's about it. Thoughts? You know what? This was these last three chapters have been exceedingly surprising because you see, with it's like you don't you usually don't expect um, Madaka fights, to, Madaka box fights to be exceedingly long or drawn out or sometimes interesting because <laughs> the fight, the fights are really only there to advance the story, which is kind of rare for a shonen. It's like, in most shows, they, sometimes they just have fighting for the sake of fighting, but Naga Box fights are like almost exclusive, exclusive, exclusively there for the, um, for the characterization. Like, I remember like there was, I think it was either 40, like 40, 35-ish chapters where Zenkichi, and Zenkichi was, um, you know, getting a pair, where like there was no fights in that arc. And it made, and it made, actually made sense because... There is no because there is no way that Kichi can beat Madaka in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So yeah, I'd give this chapter um. Do I want to use a scale of tens or fives or fours? I'll use a scale. Of, I'll use a scale of five. Um, I give it a four point. Yeah, I give it a four point five out of um out of five. Um, we got we know Ihiko's coming to wreck face. And or Madaka's or and or Madaka's going to wreck his face. Kind of makes me wonder how fast I Ihiko is though. But um, really, really, dra really dramatic, fit, really, really dramatic. You know, with sheer, with sheer annoyance and Kichi, <laughs> Kumagawa got punched in the face. Oh, uh, and it's it was so wrong. It's all around, all around excellent chapter, excellent chapter, and. That's about it, so I am going to say goodbye. These 12, and this is almost on 12 minutes exactly, so I'm surprised that these these reviews go on as long as they do. I mean, kind of kind of flies by. But anyway, um, I don't think um, I'm probably not going to do chapter reviews for Toriko yet. Oh, well, maybe not even yet. Um. The, um, I want I want to do chapter reviews of manga that I feel do not get enough attention because Madaka Box's anime is giving a little bit more attention, but I I don't really see any um reviews of chapter Madaka Box chapters online. So I'll think of something. I'll think of something, and that that's it. So. I will talk to you guys later.